Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from the book of 1 Corinthians today, and it's probably something that I've read before, but I want to read it again. 1 Corinthians in chapter 15. Now in verse 12, Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is in vain, ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are, are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For by, for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. If we had hope in this life only, we'd be of all men most miserable. For it saying, um, if Christ hasn't raised, then we're just playing today. <laughs> we're just playing church. There's no reason for us to even worship God if he hadn't sent his son and his son died and his son never rose from the dead. But, and, and it paints a, a, a doom and gloom picture, uh, the Apostle Paul does. Then he says, if that was the case, we'd be of all men most miserable. So what are we going to leave behind for our family? What are we going to leave them the knowledge and the hope of the resurrection? That because Jesus was raised, we will as well. And should they uh, want to see us again, you think that's a good enough reason to go to heaven? I would say that a uh, good enough reason for me to go to heaven or want to go to heaven is so I wouldn't have to go to hell. <laughs> That'd be the main thing. But it'll be good, of course, uh, to see those uh, who have gone on. I'm going to... Uh, uh, we were in, in the Myrtle Beach area a couple weeks ago. And uh, so uh, we went by Mr. Harry's grave. Uh, Mr. Harry, a basher here. And uh, stopped by his grave and looked at it and took a few pictures. And this song makes me think of him. Don't know that Harry was a farmer, but uh, it just makes me think of him. Grandpa was a farmer when I was a kid. He never made much money, but he loved what he did. He'd get up in the morning, go and milk the cow. Get out his old team of mules, go to the field and plow. He took us to church on Sunday, and he taught us how to pray. And I remember the things he used to say. He'd say, youngins, don't forget where you came from. Don't forget how God's been good to you. Be proud you were raised in the country. Stand up for the old red, white, and blue. It won't hurt to get a little dirt on your bridges. You go out into the woods to pray. Youngins, don't forget where you came from, where I'm going, and will you meet me there someday? Now I walked the fields he planted, 
the day he passed away not thought of how we'll meet again on one glorious day but until then i'll keep working tending to his fields hoping i can do the things the way my grandpa did he'd say youngins don't forget where and don't forget how God's been good to you be proud you were raised in the country stand up for the old red white and blue it won't hurt to get a little dirt on your bridges when you go out into the woods and pray youngins don't forget where you came from where I'm going and we meet me there someday best thing we can leave our family and our friends is the hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God, we thank you for everything you do for us. God, we thank you for this week. You've blessed us. And apparently we're speaking here today, so we've made it through another week. Will we make it till tomorrow? I don't know. Only you know. But God, if we don't, I pray that our family knows where to find us. We won't be lost. They haven't lost us if they know where we are. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, 6 o'clock tonight at Charity Free Will Baptist, 7432 North State Route 139 in Lucasville, where we pastor 6 o'clock. Brother Mark Bishop will be there singing for us. Come out and be with us. If not, watch tomorrow, or we'll see you back here, Lord willing, again on Monday. God bless.